Howdy folks, RC helicopter unboxing time. Uh, this is a kit, so we're not going to be able to look at the finished machine. I will probably do a separate video on the build if I decide it's exciting enough, but for now I just wanted to show you what is in this box if you're thinking of getting one of these as well. It's uh, one of these ALZ RG Devil uh, 505s. Basically a uh, Goblin clone. If you're thinking of getting one of these, maybe this will help you determine if it's worth it or not. I've been kind of intrigued with these. I've got quite a few comments from uh, visitors to my website that have got them and most say great things about them. Most. We're getting a little glare here. See if we can... I guess we can't do much about that. So this is the size of the box. I'm kind of curious if anything's broken. These come from Bang Me Good, I mean Bang Good. This is the Super Combo Kit, so it's got all the electronics with it. And really for the price, you can't beat them. I was looking originally at their little 308, but it's a 6S powered and I don't have any 6S batteries in that size. So yeah, I was gonna buy some batteries. You know, I started looking at battery costs and it's just, those little 6S packs are, they're outrageous. You know, to get three packs, I'm almost up to the cost of this, and that's why I justified getting the 505, because I've got lots of larger 3S or 6S batteries. You know, these are for my, the bigger ones here, the 5000s, I use in my 600s and my 700s. And here's a 4000, I've got a number of these as well. This should fit the big 5000, but when we get it built, I'll be able to come back and let you know about that. So we've got essentially four boxes here. Let's take these one at a time. I'm just going to empty them out. Quite impressed with the packaging so far. There's actually five boxes. I'm guessing this is going to be the canopy and tail boom. Might be some other goodies in here. So, let's see if there's any damage. Boy, the paint still smells fresh. So, yeah, it's, fiberglass is pretty thin, and the paint quality is pretty horrendous. There's a run here. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. There's all kinds of dust in the paint under the clear coat. You can see sanding marks through the clear coat. But boy, it smells like it was just painted. You know, from a distance, not bad. So what's the saying? Good from far, but far from good? Yeah. Anyway, so take it for what it's worth. Not bad, but not great. Uh, what else do we have in here? Looks like some frame structures, some screws. So we're gonna have to, when I build it, we'll look at this a little bit closer. Looks like battery trays, battery straps. It's pretty decent. Frames. Uh, what do we got here? Probably one and a half mil, looks like. Carbon. And some kind of rubber trimming, maybe to go around the edge of the canopy. Uh, those are canopy stays. The uh, blade blade mount, and looks like some stickers. So that's what's in the big box. Now let's look at this long box, kind of guessing the tail boom and the blades. Jeez, how many ways can you open this? Okay, so yep. So here's the tail boom.
Wow, and <laughs> this is way nicer. Way nicer paint job on the tail boom. Push rod for the servo. Uh, yep, it is carbon. Stiff as frig. So that's kind of a nice surprise seeing that the canopy paint isn't that great. The tail boom is nicer. Uh, it's more little parts, obviously, for mounting the boom, you would think. And then the blades. Uh, we'll open those up real quick if you wanted to see that. And I should mention that I, I didn't get this for free. I paid with it with my hard-earned hobby funds. I actually haven't bought a new helicopter in a couple of years. Um, my only big purchase last year was the uh, Horus Radio. But blades look not bad. They're not great. Again, you can see blemishes in the clear coat. So you get what you pay for. And these things aren't that much money. Uh, for a heli of this size anyways, and quality. When you can get them on sale, they're around $600 US. You can see there's, you know, there's some bleeding around the lettering, but decent. Make sure we don't get any of these parts mixed up. So let's go into part or box A here. Okay, and this looks like all the main drive components. So here's the uh, upper mast mount. The bearings are separate, so I imagine they get uh, glued in with retaining compound. Landing skids. Landing skid mounts. Main shaft. Stainless, hollow, 10 millimeter. And then all the gearing. Wash plate, anti rotation or swash anti rotation guide, links, nice heavy links. Wow, that looks nice. So, component wise, looks really nice. CNC machining is looking really good. So, that's pretty impressive. Box B. goodies here. So carbon tail blades, not plastic. Motor mount, motor pinion for the belt, springs for motor, um, the motor mount tension, rotor head, not DFC, thank goodness. Really well done. Got the um, indice markings or the pitch marking so you can set your zero and your min max, probably guessing plus minus 12. Motor to uh, main motor gear or pinion to main gear drive belt. Who knows, lots of zip ties. Kind of interesting that they're using the white or the clear ones, not the black. These fail under UV exposure. They get brittle and crack, so I won't be using these. I'll be using small black ones. Uh, who knows? And the, there's no instructions, obviously. You can download them online. I've already done that. Pretty straightforward looking stuff. And tail fin. Be a tail hub bearing. Oh, yeah, here's okay. Here's the tail drive. But 
really nice machining on all the parts. Pitch slider and of course the tail drive belt and the pitch slider or the pitch arm for the uh, pitch slider. So, very nice looking stuff. And this is a heavy box, so I'm guessing this is all the electronics. Like I said, this is the uh, full super combo kit. So, there's the mini K bar fly barless unit. Mounting tape comes with a USB cable and then the, the harness for hooking your receiver up to it. Okay, so there's our cyclic servos. Look decent. These are all high voltage uh, coreless. They're DM15315s. Uh, okay, here's a nice thing. The servos come with the uh, aluminum servo arms. I didn't know if I was going to have to buy these afterwards. Doesn't really say. A few photos I saw they were just plastic and I saw these as the option as accessory parts so I was thinking I was going to have to buy servo arms but it looks like they come with it which is nice. Here's the uh, full-size tail servo. Well, this is actually brushless. Uh, again high voltage, super fast so you know they the specs are good on these included components. Now I got here all chewed to hell. It's the motor. Uh, it's 1200 uh, KV BL4120 Pro. Decent looking little motor. Huge winding wire. And then the Hobby Wing ESC, and that's the, uh, oh, it's sealed. So this is the uh, Platinum 120 amp. Good for 500, you know, it says it's rated for 500 to 550 class helis. Or what size, it just says airplane, doesn't say what size. Ooh. And yeah, the thing that I was mentioning with this is I don't have a programming card, which I'm probably going to have to get because I'm sure this hasn't been pre-programmed. So it's running 12 gauge wire. Nice looking ESC. I've been hearing great things about these Hobby Wing ESCs. Now look at this. This is interesting. Comes with a little capacitor um, for the, I imagine, for the output for the BEC, the BEC. I'm just, that's just a guess, but it's got a servo, or just a standard servo plug that would plug into the. Um, you know, your power bus on your receiver or your fly barless unit. So that's cool. Oh, and a little fan. So if you want, you can run a fan. That's what these mounting holes are for. You can mount the fan right on there. Uh, shouldn't need it in a heli, but it's kind of neat that it comes with one. Some shrink tube. Little stickers and of course a big instruction manual. No bullets though. Oh no, sorry. Sorry guys, they're already on there. So bullets are already soldered on. The females on there and the males on the motor, so don't have to worry about that. Just have to solder on your and these are pre-tinned. Nice job. Oh we're still on the hobby wing. Platinum ESC here. Just thought uh, I did dig out the instructions and thought I'd let you in on a couple of things. One, if you you're probably going to need the programming box for it. Uh, they also have a Wi-Fi Express thing, but this thing's oh, 60 bucks. Yeah, uh, these are about 25, 30. It comes factory programmed for helicopter though, so you don't necessarily need that. But there's a couple of settings that I don't like at all. 
One is the um, defaulted um, back voltage, that's at six volts. Of course, this comes with HV servos. Running at the amount of higher uh, voltage means they will draw less current out of the back. So I would like to dial that up. And another one on here is this helicopter elf governor mode. It defaults to that, some kind of learning governor mode. On a fresh build, I don't like running governor modes at all. I want a one-to-one -one throttle control. So I can, you know, gently play with the throttle, spool it up slowly, spool it down, look for resonance vibrations. I just like having a, a direct one-to-one -one throttle control. And then after I know how it flies at different head speeds, that's when I'll think about using, you know, a set governor mode or program governor mode or just running flatline throttle curves. So that's a, kind of a big fail. So if you get one of these, yeah, probably advisable to get the card and really in this day and age, I can't even believe we're still being forced in to buying separate programming cards or boxes. You know, that's, and that's just not with Hobby Wings ESC. Most of them are like that, and it's, it's ludicrous to me. You know, the, the Castle's ESCs, you need their little uh, Castle Link USB connector, but these things are cheap, and really, most of the time, you can get them for free or four or five bucks. They've got a little coupon code in most of the ESCs. And you can, you know, get them to send you one for really cheap. Certainly not 25, 30 bucks. And honestly, this stuff should be built right into the ESC. You know, all fly wireless units now have USB ports built into them, even cheap ones like this. Why can't a $160 ESC have that? Again, this day and age, it's, to me, it's absolutely ridiculous. But I digress. Back to the uh, unboxing. Probably do another video. Well, I will do another video. Obviously, I'll start putting it together this weekend. But that's uh, that's it for the unboxing. So really, the only thing that I'm somewhat disappointed in is the canopy. Cheers, folks. Have a good one.